Hey YouTube, welcome back. It's Justin from Jacob Elk Reptiles and we're bringing you a really awesome video this time. Really excited to do this one just because it's been requested so many times. But before we get to that, I wanna talk a little bit about the contest we had in our last um, video. So most of you noticed it, I couldn't believe it. And the last part of the video as the credits are rolling is the Batman video. Um, it said, if you're still reading, comment Gotham needs me in the comments and I'll put you in a drawing for a shirt. Now I was, I thought, okay, a few people are going to see it, but no one's going to pay attention to those credits. But shockingly, a ton of you did and it was really awesome. So we had to figure it out. I was like, eh, what are we going to do? And Chase is like, we got to do at least two shirts. So we did a drawing twice, randomized the comments and we have two winners. So the first one is Ed Polani. Thank you for your comment. Um, the other one is Mike Hilton. So real excited to get you guys some shirts. Go ahead and give me a message or I will message you and we'll get that address and get it over to you. For the rest of you, if you want a JKR t-shirt, you can buy them um, on my website. I'll put the link in the comments um, in the description there. And I'm also gonna put a little coupon code so you get free shipping or we're actually giving one free with every, every purchase here for the next month or so. We're giving one a free t-shirt with every snake. So that's another way you can do it. All right, on to the video. So this is super exciting. Everybody, probably the most commented, the most requested video I ever get is, please show me these snakes as adults. And I typically don't really like showing the snakes as adults. I like those babies, they're just so easy and they're you know, fun size. You can put them on the, little, on the uh, cart in front of you and talk about them. But we're gonna do it this time. We actually are starting our breeding season now and we're gonna do some ultrasounding tonight. So, we're like, okay, this is the perfect time. We're gonna have some of these big females out, some of these old girls. You can see some of these really awesome morphs as adults. I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. And the cool thing is, is we're gonna ultrasound them so that you guys can kind of see along with me if we're gonna get some babies from some of these really, really cool girls. I'm excited. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so we totally messed that one up. We totally cheated. So we were supposed to do some videoing while we were ultrasounding, but once you get going, it's just impossible to pull out the camera on every different girl. So we just knocked out the whole room, looked at everything, and now we're gonna go back through and show you a few of the really awesome highlights. Super excited, the season's off to a really, really quick start. So let's look at some of those girls, and I'm sorry in advance, I'm losing my voice a little bit, so that might start deteriorating a little bit. We just did a whole ton of talking, Chase and I, between every single girl talking about what our plan with her is, where she's at, what the next step is, so. This is an exciting night. I'm gonna bring you in on it now. All right, so this first one is a banana het clown girl. And there's really almost no reason to even worry about ultrasounding her, because if you can see here, it'll be real gentle. She's basically ovulating tonight, and that's always exciting to see. But we'll put the ultrasound on there on her just so you can see what 4.0 follicles are. That's basically when they ovulate, is when the follicles are at 4.0. So here I'm gonna try not to block my machine. How are we gonna do this, Chase? Let's try this. All right, can you see it okay? Look at those. Just massive. They're really pressed together almost to the point where they're kind of square because they're pushing each other together so hard. That's really cool. So this girl is, like I said, is a Coral Glow Het clown and she was bred to the Fire Batman. So we're gonna see scarecrows again, finally. Didn't get any last year, chance to get scarecrows again with the fire added. It'd be really interesting to see what that brings to the table. Uh, scarecrow fire in this clutch. All right, the next one is a, just a lavender girl, but I love showing her because she is the most fantastic example of a lavender you can imagine. And she's extremely old. So she's old and huge and beautiful. And she's producing this year, it looks like. So look at the color on her. 
it's just just wonderful and if you can get a, a sense of her size really 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 big girl just huge really really wonderful color i hope it shows up well on the camera now we had her at 2.0 follicles and we're going to go ahead and show her show you what that looks like here so she's going this year and she was just majorly stacked with follicles so we're getting ready to put it on here's the midline right here we're going to go just about a few inches below that and there they are it's super easy to see look at that and she has so many in there they're stacked kind of on different levels you have upper ones and lower ones you see there at the top you can see the uh, reflections the refractions from her spine check that out beautiful so exciting there's two two right on top of each other four right in a group love it and this girl's bred to a lavender leopard lavender blackhead so we're gonna see some really really cool versions of that i'm really excited about making some more of those this year okay so the next one we're looking at has no follicles yet but it's one of my favorite girls we just started breeding her for this season this is the ghi mojave clown and it was kind of a fan favorite really excited to be putting something to her and i'm not going to tell you what we're breeding her to yet because that is going to be a really cool surprise i think when she gives me a clutch this year feeling really good about it but look at that fade she's as good as she ever was let's go ahead and look take a look i think she had 1.0 follicles which basically i consider to be residual let's see if we can find them they're a little hard a lot harder to find tiny follicles in a snake we can see them there those aren't even 1.0s those are more like uh, 0.5s you see them like a beads right there at the top right at the top of the spine so a female adult ball python will have those in her no matter what she's doing there's kind of a residual follicle now if she wants to put those into growth mode and grow them into larger follicles and actually produce that's one thing but pretty much you can always find some of those tiny little follicles in any ball python at any time okay this girl is really really pretty this is a firefly yellow belly spot nose so you see all those genes working in concert together here the cool thing is a firefly yellow belly is amazing and bright but the spot nose brings a lot of contrast and cool banding and crazy pattern to it and the cool thing is is that this girl has got great follicles we'll take a look at them here they're so big let's see if we can get them on the screen here a little better and pick her up <clears throat> so look at that nice nice big these are about two to two and a half nice and clear really really healthy follicles she is doing amazing all right we're not going to ultrasound this one because i just did and there's no follicles in her but she is absolutely beautiful this is the adult female batman and i kind of alluded in my last batman video that they don't really lose a step with age they still look bright and amazing they keep all their pattern and you can see here she's girls are probably almost 2,000 grams and just incredible incredible pattern still love her she's i have some really really cool plans for her this year as well all right so we're doing this one just because specifically somebody asked for a black ghost update so this is the black exanthic hypo and this is the original girl the very very first one see she's awesome fantastic color just beautiful still very 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 gray and when we ultrasounded her tonight we found that she had really they're, they're about one and a quarter to one and a half some of them are bigger than others but look at those she is fantastic she's on track and looking for a really good clutch from her now i did not put her into a black exanthic i'm using her to make some uh really long-term amazing uh combos that we'll see three four years from now is where the uh the results from this clutch are going to come so here's another girl that we haven't actually started breeding yet but i just wanted to show her because we get lots of questions on the adult desert ghost stuff and this is actually a spot nose hypo desert ghost adult female she's proven she bred last year and she is just incredible look at this color so the hypo in the desert ghost you know i got the hypo stuff from my desert ghost it was mixed in from the very beginning and um so i got really lucky and actually got them together and it's not appearing a, a thought that i would have gone to go for the hypo desert ghost but now that i've grown these up and i've seen them they're just incredible and i think anything hypo desert ghost is a fantastic direction to take it just beautiful.
All right, so my voice is getting a little bit less with every one of these, but I want to show off a few more. This is the Pastel Highway Pied, another proven girl of nuts. Already yet breeding her this year, but I love the color, love the pattern on these. Just incredible. This is the Pastel Highway Pied. The Highway leaves tons and tons and tons of pattern on the pie, which is amazing. Cannot wait to make a few more of these this year. Looking to add Inchi in it, ideally. OD, you name it. Love it, love it. Okay, so this is an inchy clown and just a really, really, really bright, beautiful example. Fantastic head. And we'll put her on the ultrasound here and show you. We're super excited. This should make, I'm gonna give you a little, get a little bit away here. This should make some red stripe inchy clown combos. The couple other little things in there. And I've not shown any red stripe clowns yet, but they're coming, they're incredible. Let's check this out. Look at those, just massive. So we're about three, almost 3.0, which means we're about a month away from ovulation, which means we're about 140 days from seeing that baby right there. Can't wait, pretty exciting. That girl, didn't, doesn't take much into a girl like this to make something incredible. All right. A little less of my voice on this one, but this is a pastel yellow belly Genex Pied. This is showing you that even at three years old, they still are amazing, amazing, amazingly bright. And that's what the Genex brings in. Incredibly, incredibly bright. This is a big girl. We'll start breeding her probably later this year. Love her pattern, love her color. Genex is just incredible in pies, and it's been a really, really awesome gift, something that I've enjoyed figuring out all these years and now getting to share a little bit with the community this year. Okay, Fire Batman. This is a yearling girl, so probably about 1,200 grams. And I just wanted to show her color. The fire is fantastic in any, pretty much any mutation because it lightens with age, gets brighter and brighter. And in the Batman, it just makes it really, really, really glow. Even with size, that head is just incredible. Really, really beautiful girl and amazing to watch her grow. This is last year's baby. She's right on track, doing amazing. All right, this is the Yellow Belly Dream Sickle. Again, last year's female, incredible eater. She already has amazing size. We're not breeding her yet or anything, but I just want to show you this color. The Yellow Belly makes the Dream Sickle way, way, way brighter with age. Just amazing. And this girl has never refused a meal, so you can see, you can see the kind of size she has on her. Okay, so the last one we're gonna show you before my voice is completely gone, we're gonna look at the Superfly Red Stripe. And this is actually a really, really special animal to me because about a year ago, it went through a complete color change and now looks just incredible. Check her out. So she turned, what happened is as a baby, she started getting white on her side. And then over the course of like three or four sheds, she turned completely gray, except for a little bit on the head there. But her color is just unreal. We actually got a clutch from her about four months ago. And so we just hatched her babies and just loving, loving the look. Love the Red Stripe project in general. But this girl has been something really, really special to grow up and enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. It's actually a lot of fun to sit there and ultrasound. It's one of those things I look forward to. I typically ultrasound about once a month. I'll get in here and just check all the girls. I could do it a lot more often, but in a way, I just try not to get too reliant on it. I want to go with my intuition a lot. I want to go with my palpating of the different females. And so the goal is to be able to use it kind of as a, uh, as a tool, but not a crutch. Um, but man, it's a lot of fun. It's just super exciting to see some of these things that you just plan and you hope and you think about it for sometimes for years. And then suddenly it's like, we're on the, we're on the road to Disneyland. It's actually happening. Um, pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed seeing a few of the big pretty girls and the, some of the girls that we've grown up over the years. If you like this sort of this type of video a lot, let me know in the comments. Just put a little comment there. If you want to see more adult females, I'm going to do my best to do more of that. Next time, we're going to do some really awesome Morphs 101. We had a couple of really good ones in a row. 
with the Gene X and the Batmans. And next time we're gonna show off something else that's really, really, really cool. I can't wait. Don't forget to pick up a t-shirt in the, in the description and I'll see you next time, YouTube.